The effectiveness of phototherapy is dependent on the intensity of phototherapy administered, which is the radiance of the unit you are using and the surface area of the infant exposed to phototherapy. So if you have a double sided one at the bottom and one at the top, it's going to work better than having a single sided. Having three or four units around the baby simply, uh, even though they are high radiance, doesn't increase the surface area. So it's not going to really change the effectiveness of your phototherapy. The general approach is to provide intensive phototherapy to as much of the infant surface area as possible. So the AP and uh, other bodies do not really recommend single phototherapy or mild phototherapy. So many of the LED units come with uh, sing I mean single, double, triple, etc. Go for the intensive phototherapy as it will shorten the duration. The bilirubin will respond quicker and make it more effective. There is no need for a distance measure which we used to use before. There is hardly any risk of overheating. So a safe distance, where you should not be bumping the baby on the unit and you should be taking precautions to move the unit away when you are going to lift the baby for feeding and so on. So all this should be attended to. The iPad should be covering the baby. But apart from that, the closer the unit, the better. And uh, if you are positioning more than one unit, think carefully about how to position them so to effectively increase the surface area. Now we have bilirubin drums which are quite effective as well and uh, the hospital should have a system where they monitor the radiance on a regular basis, change the bulbs on the right timing and so on. So the advantage of intensive phototherapy is that it can reduce quickly the TSB and should shorten the duration of treatment. Treatment duration obviously affects the separation of the mother and the baby and increases the anxiety level. So there is no evidence to show that intensive phototherapy is more harmful than normal phototherapy. The recommended phototherapy thresholds are far below those at which overt acute bilirubin neurotoxicity or kernicterus occurs. So this is another safety point that even though we are having a treatment threshold, it's not anywhere near the bilirubin neurotoxicity. So you don't need to panic. And uh, one important point about the intensity of phototherapy and the duration of treatment is it's different for the extreme premature baby. So there uh, the skin is very thin. You may have uh, changes at the tissue level and we should be careful about unnecessarily using intensive phototherapy in the smaller babies. So a less intensive phototherapy for a longer duration, these are babies who are going to be in NACU anyway, may be safer. Of course, this is not the scope of this guideline. This is just an additional point.